Hi, this is Robin Gilliam with Recovery Art Studio, and I'm going to show you the next step to an intuitive painting. And this is actually a box I'm working on. And the next thing we're going to do is some stenciling. So I'm going to put my stencil down with this sticky stuff that will hold the stencil because this piece in the middle you can see is a little bit loose, and I don't want to get splatters underneath. So I'm going to stick this down really nice like that. <coughs> Then I'm going to take my paint and put it on these little these little dabby things. And then I'm just going to dab like this. And when I pull up my stencil, my paint dried out a little bit, so I'm going to add a little bit more paint. See my paint dried out. I like these Jacker Lumiere paints. I'm going to mix one up here. This one's a little thick. So, so I'm going to add some white metallic. Love that metallic paint. Just mix it up with a paint knife. Wiping it off on your apron. All right, now I'm going to take this dabby thing and see if I can make this work. You can put it on there, see, put that on there. Don't get some of it off so it's not too mushy. And then now just start to do it. Be careful not to go on the outside of your stencil. We just kind of dab, 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 dab. We're adding another layer to our intuitive painting give it some tep depth and texture. And it's going to be kind of subtle because you can see the background on my intuitive painting is a silver, so I didn't want it to be too obvious. Okay, that's that one. And we're going to give it a second and then we're going to pull it up. Watch this. Ugh. Is that cool or what? We've just added a stencil. There's another hand on the other side, so when the box comes together, the two hands, whoops, sorry, are like this, helping hands. We're helping each other to get better through this Me Too situation and healing. And so that's the next step in doing an intuitive painting is adding some stencils for some texture and depth. This is Robin Gilliam with Recovery Art Studio. Blessings for a creative and grateful day.